Hello and welcome everybody to my channel Only Bio Entrance and today I will be discussing BBT JRF Entrance Exam question paper conducted in the year 2018. I have divided into two parts. This is the first part that I am going to discuss. So the first question. 10 gram of plant material is extracted in 100 ml of a suitable buffer. On performing uh, an assay for amylase activity, 100 microliter extract produced 6 micromoles glucose in 30 minutes of incubation. One unit of amylase activity is defined as the amount of enzyme required to produce 1 micromole of glucose per minute. That is, amount of substrate converted to product per minute. The amylase activity units per gram of the material is. So enzyme activity, amount of substrate converted to product by, per minute divided by total enzyme. So we have to see for total enzyme that is 10 gram in 100 ml or 0.1 gram in 1 ml. That is 1 ml uh, in 1 ml 0.1 gram is present or 1000 microliter 0.1 gram is present so in 100 microliter 0.01 gram per microliter is present 6 micromoles amount of substrate 6 micromoles in 30 minutes so in 1 minute it is 0.2 enzyme activity is units by gram so 0.2 divided by 0.01 that is 20 answer is option Three. Water vapor transmission rate of a packaging film is 4 grams per meter square per day. A food product is packed in a rectangular pouch measuring 0.12 m into 0.16 m. The maximum amount of moisture lost in 90 days is. So transmission rate is 4 gram per meter square per day. Area is equal to 0.12 into 0.16 meter square. That is 0.0192 meter square. 1 meter square is 4 grams per day. So 0.019 meter square it will be 0.0768 grams per day. For 90 days it will be into 90 that is 6.912 grams. Now rectangular pouch has two sides so the moisture will be lost from two surfaces. Uh, answer here, so multiply 6.912 by 2. So it will be 13.82 grams. Answer. Then the protein concentration and enzyme activity in 100 ml of a cell free extract is 5 mg per ml and 2 units per ml respectively. After multiple step of purification, the final uh, 10 ml fraction contains 4 mg per ml of protein and 15 units per ml of enzyme activity. The fold purification and percentage recovery respectively is specific activity of cell-free extract, total activity by total protein in mg per ml, specific activity after purification, fold <coughs> Fold purification, specific activity of the second step divided by specific activity of first step. So 3.75 divided by 0.4 that is 9.4. Now cell free extract enzyme activity, 2 units in 1 ml. So 100, in 100 ml, 100 into 2 that is 200. Now after purification, it is 15 units per in 1 ml. So in 10 ml fraction, it will be 10 into 15 that is 150. Percentage recovery is enzyme activity in final step divided by enzyme activity in initial step into 100. So 150 divided by 200 into 100 that is 95%. So the answer is 9.4 and 75%. An enzyme is reported to have Km of 10 millimolar Vmax 30 millimoles per second. Assuming Michaelis Menten kinetics, the reaction velocity at a substrate concentration of 20 millimoles will be. This is a direct substitution question for calculating reaction velocity. Vmax concentration of S by Km plus concentration of S substitute the values and you will get 20 millimoles per random DNA hexamers containing A, T, G, and C are generated by DNA synthesis. 
the fraction of the hexamers that will have three purines followed by three pyrimidines is. Now purines are A and G and pyrimidines are C and T. Total four bases. Probability of a purine is half and probability of a pyrimidine is half. Probability of three purines followed by pyrimidines is half into half into half into half into half into half that is half raised to six. Answer is all. STE buffer contain 20% sucrose, 100 millimolar tris, 10 millimolar EDTA. Given the stock solutions, 50% sucrose, 1 molar tris and 200 millimolar EDTA. The, number, the volume of the stock solutions required to make 1 liter of the buffer solution are respectively. I have done the calculation in the next Answer is, uh, okay wait. Uh, so 20% sucrose, 100 millimolar uh, tris and 10 millimolar EDTA is what you require and this is the stock that is 50% sucrose, 1 molar tris, 20 millimolar EDTA. So from 50% sucrose how much you have to take to get 20% uh, in 1000 ml. So 20 into 1000 divided by 50 that is 400. Similarly for tris and EDTA also you can calculate. You will get answer 3, 400 ml, 100 ml and 50. The mean extracellular cellulase activity of 7 bacillus strain isolated from soil was determined to be 12 international units per ml. A new hyper-producing bacillus isolate was found to have an extracellular activity of 36 international units per ml. If equal volume of the supernatant of all the A strains are mixed together, the cellulose activity of the solution will be. So mean is equal to sum of cellulose activity of 7 strains divided by total number of strains. So sum of cellulose activity of 7 strains let it be x. Total number of strain is 7 and mean activity was 12. So x will be 84. Cellulose activity of the new strain is 36. So 84 plus 36 will be 120. Now divide 120 by 8 and you will get the mean as 15. Answer is option 2. Then phosphates, carboxylates. Sulfonates are esters of phosphoric, carboxylic and sulfonic acid respectively. Which one of the following statement is not true? So, answer is option 3 that is the nucleophile attack occurs at the oxygen or phosphorus in phosphates. It is not phosphorus, it is on phosphor and hydride. Answer is option 3. Next one. The prosthetic group present in acyl carrier protein is, it is COASH. Then pyran is, pyran is a six-membered oxygen heterocycle. Answer is option, sorry not five, option three. Sorry, option A, okay. I am sorry, it is option A is the answer. Then next one, the number of primary hydroxyl group present in fructose and glucose. So this is the, this is in the case of glucose. This is the primary hydroxyl group in case of glucose and fructose. There are two primary hydroxyl group, this one and this one. So answer will be one and two. Answer is in case, okay, fructose and glucose, they have us, so 2 and 1. Answer is option A. Then next one. During glycolysis, fructose 1,6-diphosphate undergo dash to produce two C3 fragments. So it undergoes aldol condensation. So retroaldol uh, reaction. Answer is option one by the action of the enzyme aldolase. Then the core functional unit present in NADH is dihydropyridine. Answer is option two. Then next one. If a completely radioactive double stranded DNA molecule undergoes two rounds of replication in a non radioactive medium, what will be the radioactivity status of the resulting four molecules? So this is the radioactive DNA st uh, strand this one this is the radioactive DNA strand and these are the 
these scribbled ones they are the non radioactive strands now the dna undergoes semi conservative method of replication so in the first round of replication the two radio labeled strands separate and it is grown it is been grown in non radioactive medium so no radioactivity will be incorporated it is shown like this so hybrid bands you will get then again these bands undergo second round of replication and you will get half of them which are non radioactive and the other half which are hybrids so the answer here is half of the number of molecules contain no radioactivity answer is option 1 the next one in meiosis an inversion in one member of a pair of homologous chromosome will most likely lead to which of the following it lead to chromosome with duplication and deficiencies answer is option 2 the next one in a cross between two black labrador retrievers and uh, the phenotypic ratio of the offspring is nine black puppies to three chocolate puppies to four yellow puppies this is an example of this is an example of recessive epistasis nine is to three is to four is an uh, ratio of recessive epistasis so the answer here is option 4 epistasis what will be the probability of obtaining a plant with they have given the genotype from the tri hybrid parents so this is the so these are the parents and this is the offspring that you require so if a and prob uh, pro for uh, capital a small a capital a small a and you want capital a small a in the progeny so upon crossing this particular capital a small a with this particular capital a small a what is the probability that you will get capital a small a that will be half now probability of getting capital b capital b from crossing capital b small b into capital b small b so it will be um, 1 by 4 again then probability of getting capital c small c is again half now probability of getting this particular genotype so multiply all the probabilities half into 4 into half that is 1 by 16 but they have given it out of 64 so multiply the numerator and the denominator by 4 you will get 4 by 64 so 4 out of 64 is the answer the next one the natural primer for reverse transcriptase in rna tumor virus is it is uh, option Uh, four that is tRNA. Then asymmetry of the DNA denaturation renaturation curve is directly proportional to the genomic complexity. Answer is option one. P is a cis acting element while Q is a trans acting element. Possible examples of P and Q are so trans acting is naturally a protein and cis acting is a DNA. so trans acting uh, for uh, p is cis acting element so it is it is an enhancer and q is a trans acting element so it will be naturally a transcription factor answer is option 1 then in fluorescent dye is injected into the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum in which of the following compartment can fluoresce signal be observed so from endoplasmic reticulum proteins are transported in vesicles to the golgi apparatus where they are further processed and sorted for transport to lysosomes the plasma membrane or for secretion from the cell so uh, where and all you will see this particular uh, fluorescent signal will be in endoplasmic reticulum golgi and nuclear envelope answer is option 4 then in an organism the amount of dna per haploid genome is 1.6 into 10 raised to 9 nucleotides pair given that the length of the dna helix occupied by one nucleotide pair is 3.4 armstrong approximately how long a double helix could be formed from this dna so amount of dna in haploid genome is equal to 
1.6 into 10 raised to 9 base pair. Length of one nucleotide pair is 3.4 Armstrong. Length of 1.6 into 10 raised to 9 base pair is 1.6 into 10 raised to 9 into 3.4 that is 5.44 into 10 raised to 9 Armstrong or 54.4 centimeters. They have asked for double helix so multiplied by 2. 54.4 into 2 that is 108.8 centimeters or 1.1 meter. Answer is option 3. A hypothetical polypeptide hormone binds to its receptor with an association rate constant of 3 into 10 raised to 4 meter per second and a dissociation rate constant of 6.9 into 10 raised to minus 6 second. What is the equilibrium dissociation constant? So that is given by KD by KA. Substitute the values and you will get 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 10 M. Answer is option 2. Then which of the following statement about Na plus and K plus ATPase is correct? It is responsible for generating the resting membrane potential. It is not generating, it is maintaining the resting membrane potential. Then it transports Na positive and K positive ions down their respective gradients. The sodium and potassium move against the concentration gradient. So that is also not correct. It is responsible for generating an action potential. That is also not correct. It indirectly regulates the volume of the cell. That is correct. Answer is option 4. The next one. Protein glycosylation can take place only on the following amino acid. That is aspargine, serine and threonine. Answer is option 3. Which one of the following organelle disappears during cell division and is regenerated in the daughter cells? It is Golgi. Answer is option 2. Then, in E. coli, mismatch during replication is corrected by mismatch repair pathway. For this, the mismatch repair pathway proteins uh, differentiate between parent and daughter strands by identifying the methylation on the parent strand. Answer is option 2. Promoter is to transcription is similar to Shine Dalgarno as translation. Hair cells in the inner ear act as receptors for which one of the following cues? It is mechanical. Answer is option 3. Which one of the following reaction does not occur in fatty acid synthesis? Phosphorylation. All the other steps mentioned in the option, they take place during fatty acid synthesis. The next one. The amino acid that can act both as an acid and a base in an enzyme catalyzed reaction is histidine. Answer is option 3. The DNA sequence in the box undergoes an inversion. What is the final DNA sequence after inversion? So this is the initial sequence. This is the initial sequence. GGTATC. Now the complement is created that is in the 3 prime to 5 prime direction that is CCATAG that is 3 prime 5 prime direction that is the complement. Now you reverse uh, you do the reverse complement in the 5 prime 3 prime direction that is GATACC. That is a reverse complement. So 5 prime to 3 prime direction. So the answer here is option 4. Uh, G A T A C C and C T A T G G. That is the uh, after inversion. Answer is option 4. Then the DNA with the sequence, this they have given, needs to be PCR amplified. The reverse primer will have the following sequence. So the reverse primer will be from this end, this particular end. You will have to take the reverse primer from this particular end, 5 prime to 3 prime direction. They have asked in 5 prime to 3 prime direction. So it will be option 1, GGC, 
A T C T A. Answer is option one. Then next one. Gamma phosphate labeled ATP molecule was used to label a DNA fragment using the Nick translation protocol. This would result in. So this is the duplex DNA. This is duplex DNA. The duplex DNA containing a Nick with a three prime OH uh, group is created by DNA one. So this is the three prime OH group. So the Nick is created there. Then one to several nucleotides remove from the Nick by five prime three prime exonuclease activity of E. coli DNA polymerase one. So from this region, some nucleotides are removed. That is in this direction. Now excised nucleotides replaced by incorporation of labeled nucleotides by E. coli DNA polymerase one. Here, these excised nucleotides they are being replaced by labeled nucleotides by E. coli DNA polymerase one. Then repetition of steps three to four, that is um, from here three to four again. Um, Three to four results in translocation of Nick and uniform labeling of the synthesized DNA. So uh, the three prime OH group is used to attack the alpha phosphate group of an incoming nucleotide triphosphate. The beta and gamma phosphates are rejected as pyrophosphate molecules because it is the three prime OH. In the question, gamma phosphate is labeled. So no labeling of the DNA will happen. Answer is option four because it is to the alpha uh, phosphate group that the incoming nu uh, that the three prime OH group is used to attack the alpha phosphate group of an incoming nucleotide triphosphate. So in the question they have labeled the gamma phosphate. So naturally no labeling of the DNA will occur. Then next one, TAC DNA polymerase differs from clino fragment in having uh, five prime three prime exonuclease activity. Option two. Then a thirty four uh, kb linear DNA was digested with Hind three and Bam H one. The fragments obtained on complete digestion are fourteen and twenty four kb, twelve kb, eighteen kb, four kb, ten kb. 8 kb and 12 kb the appropriate restriction map of the dna is now if you see option 2 option 2 you will see that sorry option 4 option 4 if you see uh, bam h1 hin3 and bam h1 you get 4 10 8 and 12 kb Now, if you digest it with Hind three alone, that is fourteen and twenty kb, you will get so four plus ten. If you digest with Hind three, you will get a fourteen kb band and eight plus twelve, that is twenty. So you will get a twenty kb band. So Hind three digestion, it is perfect. Now, if you take Bam H one alone, you will get a four kb band and eighteen kb band. This one and a twelve kb band. So, and if you digest with Hin3 and Bam H1, you will get 4 kb, 10 kb, 8 kb, and 12 kb. So the answer here is uh, option four. So this is the how I have uh, arrived at the um, answer. Then next one, in an eukaryotic pre-mRNA, the number of positions where polyadenylate modification occurs is. Answer is option two two. Which one of the following amino acid biosynthesis pathway is affected in folic acid deficiency? So it is glycine from glucose and alanine. Answer is option two. 
विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट ए पार्ट ऑफ द रीकॉम्बिनेशन सिग्नल सीक्वेंस इन वि डी जे रीकॉम्बिनेशन लोकस कंट्रोल रीजन आंसर इज ऑप्शन टू ए कंसर्व सेवन बेस पेयर कंसेंट सीक्वेंस ए लस कंसर्व स्पेस ऑफ ऐदर ट्वेलव और ट्वेंटी थ्री बेस पेयर ए कंसर्व नयन बेस पेयर कंसेंट सीक्वेंस सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट ए पार्ट ऑफ रीकॉम्बिनेशन सिग्नल सीक्वेंस इन वि डी जे रीकॉम्बिनेशन इज लोकस कंट्रोल रीजन the next one the mechanism that permits immunoglobulins to be synthesized either in a membrane bound or secreted form is it is differential rna processing results in the production of two proteins with different activities from a signal uh, from a single uh, gene answer is option 3 differential rna processing the same question was asked in one of the years for dbt exam i don't remember which year but they have asked then a transporter associated with antigen processing complex is necessary for the loading of peptide onto class 1 mhc molecule the cellular compartment harboring the tap complex is so tap transport peptide from cytosol into the endoplasmic reticulum thereby selecting peptides matching in length and sequence to respective mhc class 1 molecules Upon loading on class MHC class one molecule, the MHC class one peptide complex is then transported to the cell surface and presented to CD8 cytotoxic T cells. So, where is the cellular compartment harboring the TAP complex? Is the endoplasmic reticulum. Answer is option three. Then next one, hemoglobin is made of two copies each of alpha and beta globin. subunits the technique used to establish the stoichiometry of the alpha and beta uh, subunits are now hemoglobin it is made of uh, four polypeptide chains two alpha chains of 141 amino acid residues each and two beta chains of 146 amino acid residues each in the complete molecule four subunits are closely joined to form a tetramer now how can you the technique used to establish this stoichiometry that means here it means it means the molecular weight differentiation of alpha and beta subunits are sds page and gel filtration chromatography answer is option 3 through sds page you can come to know the subunits when you are using beta mercaptan ethanol or uh, yes along with sds page and then gel filtration chromatography you will get the native state of the hemoglobin molecule without any denaturation then hot start pcr is performed to <coughs> now non specific amplification is one of the major issues that can directly impact pcr performance a common source of non specific amplification is the extension of misprimed sequences by dna polymerases and formation of primer dimers solution is to use a hot start dna polymerase hot start modifications inhibit dna polymerases activity at room temperature preventing spurious bands from non specific amplification so hot start pcr is performed to minimize non specific amplification answer is option 4 a human gene is cloned in an e coli uh, expression vector however extremely poor protein expression is detected on sds page despite high level of specific mrna the most likely explanation is so the answer is lack of specific iso accepting trnas so iso accepting trnas are trnas with different anti codons but incorporating the same amino acid in protein sequences now codon bias it is linked to trna iso acceptor abundance in the cell now if we take arginine as an example the usage of six codons of arginine varies the presence of rare arginine codons that is 
suppose if you take the example of arginine there are uh, co uh, the commonly used arginine codons are cgu and cgc there are other four codons which are called as rare codons for arginine and are found in very low frequency in e coli mrnas now if you take the arginine example uh, usage of the six codons of arginine varies the presence of rare arginine codons cause ribosome stalling and frame shifting related to low abundance of tRNAs that read these codons so only two codons are preferred over the other four codons in e, co in e, e. coli mRNAs that is called as codon bias and codon bias is linked to tRNA iso acceptor so lack of specific iso accepting tRNAs answer is 4 then next one a 1 kb insert is ligated to a 5 kb vector in a molar ratio of i uh, insert is to vector of 5 is to 1 in a reaction volume of 1 ml at a final dna concentration 10 micrograms per ml how much of the insert and vector was used in the ligation mixture the formula here nanogram of vector into kilo base pair size of the insert by kilo base pair size of the vector into molar amount of insert by molar amount of vector is equal to nanogram of insert so you will get 5 microgram of insert and 5 microgram of uh, vector answer is option 1 i think the next one aminopterin in hat medium inhibits dihydrofolate uh, reductase answer is option 4 the next one among the miro diploids of the lac operon in e coli which one is not inducible by lactose <clears throat> so option one if you take this one it produces the normal repressor which has got the ability to bind to the operator of this one also <clears throat> so when you add lactose it will prevent repressor from binding to the operator then second one if you see here also the repressor is mutated but here the repressor is same it can bind to operator and when lactose is present uh, it will prevent the repressor from binding to the operator and uh, here also but here if you see the operator is mutated but here only one of the repressor is mutated the other is normal wild type so here the repressor normal repressor um, will be produced and when lactose is added it will prevent binding of repressor to the operator but here since both the operators are mutated so repressor will not bind even if lactose is absent so it is not inducible answer is option 3 then next one Termination of mRNA transcription in Saccharomyces cerevisiae is mediated by Rho dependent termination, Rho independent termination, they both take place in bacteria. Now, sigma factor directed termination is required for the initiation of transcription. Sigma factor is required for the initiation of transcription. So, option 3 is polyadenylation signal. That is the answer. Then, a bacillus culture growing in a rich medium was shifted to a sporulation medium. Which of the following is expected to occur? So, a transcriptome, it is the full range of mRNA molecules expressed by an organism. So, genome will not change but transcriptome will change. Answer is option 2. So, a bacillus culture was shifted to a 
growing in a rich medium was shifted to sporulation medium which of the following is expected genome will not change but the transcriptome that is the full range of mrna molecules expressed by an organism that will change a dna fragment digested with hind3 and eco r1 was ligated with a vector digested with hind3 and eco r1 site present in the polylinker of the vector Upon screening of transformants by digestion with HIN3 ECOR1, it was found that the transformant contained only self-ligated vector and there was no recombinant clone. This is possibly due to only one of the restriction enzyme digested the vector. That may be the answer. Answer is option 1. Both the restriction enzyme digested the vector. If that was the case, then the fragment would have got ligated with the vector. Only one of the restriction enzyme digested the insert. No. The DNA, because they have told that DNA fragment is digested with HIN3 and ECO R1. Both the restriction enzyme digested the insert. That is already done. They both have digested the insert. But you get self ligated vectors only when. Uh, one of the restriction enzyme digests the vector whereas the other so the insert will not be able to sit in the uh, vector and get ligated. So you will not get colonies containing inserted clone in the vector. So answer is option 1. In a cloning experiment alkaline phosphatase is generally used to dephosphorylate a plasmid vector rather than the insert DNA fragment because Alkaline phosphatase remove 5' phosphate groups from vector so that uh, prevents self ligation of the vector and facilitates the ligation of other DNA fragments into the vector. The dephosphorylated termini of the vector cannot be ligated by DNA ligase. So the answer is vector can self ligate and form colonies upon introduction into host cells. Answer is option 2. Then next one, a yeast plasmid vector has an XHO site in the LEU2 marker gene and Salvan site in the histidine 3 marker gene. A student cloned a gene using the Salvan site. Uh, how could the student uh, select for recombinant clone? The LEU2 gene codes for the enzyme which is needed for the synthesis of amino acid leucine. Similarly, HIS3 gene, it codes for the enzyme needed for the synthesis of amino acid is today. Now see option 3. Plate the transformation mixture on histidine plus leucine minus medium followed by replica plating on leucine minus histidine minus medium. Now if you plate on the histidine plus leucine minus, the histidine 3 gene is disrupted. Histidine is provided in the medium and the transformants will grow. Even if leucine is not provided in the medium, leucine 2 gene will synthesize the required leucine. Now replica plating on leucine minus histidine minus medium will allow non-transformants to grow and since histidine is not provided in the medium, the transformants will not grow as histidine gene is disrupted. By comparing the replica plate with the original plate, you can choose the transformants. So the answer is option 3. Which of the following statement about IPTG and lactose is not correct? IPTG can enter the cell independently of lactose permease. Answer is both IPTG and lactose need permease for entry into cell. Answer is option 4. Then which of the following amino acid changes in the active site of an enzyme is most likely to change its activity? Lysine to arginine. Both are positively charged R groups. So there won't be any change in activity. Leucine to isoleucine. Both have aliphatic R groups and both are non-polar. Uh, glutamic acid to aspartic acid. Both are negatively charged R groups. Lysine to proline. Lysine is positively charged and proline is uncharged. So if lysine is mutated to proline in the active site of the enzyme, uh, it will most likely change its activity. Answer is option 4. Which of the following statement is not correct about enhancers? 
they can function in either orientation that is correct they decrease the binding of activators near the promoter that is not correct they increase the binding of activators near the promoters so answer is option 2 then next one the common feature of uh, row independent and row dependent uh, termination of transcription In a row dependent process, row protein locates and binds the signal sequence in the mRNA and signals for cleavage. In a row independent termination, the signal for termination is controlled by the specific sequences of RNA. So answer is option 3. The active signal lies in nascent RNA. Answer is option 3. Then next one. In an experiment, two different mutations in the gene, single gene was observed. This gene was cloned. Northern and Western analysis of each mutant 1 and 2 and the wild type gave the following profile. What will be the inference from the result? Answer is option 3 that is mutant 1 is, has missense mutation and 2 has nonsense mutation. How will we come to this conclusion? Now, missense mutation, it is a point mutation in which a single nucleotide change result in a codon that codes for a different amino acid. So, in this mutation, RNA will be produced, similar to wild type but differing in a single codon. It is shows positive result with northern blot. Since a single codon is changed, western blot will not show the single codon change. It shows only the presence of protein. Western shows a band similar to Uh, similar in molecular weight without change. <coughs> Western shows a band similar to wild type without change in the molecular weight. Then second is nonsense mutation. It is a point mutation in which a DNA sequence that results in a uh, premature stop codon or a nonsense codon in the transcribed mRNA results in a truncated, incomplete and unusually non-functional protein product. mRNA will be detected in northern blot but in western blot the protein is detected but it is of low molecular weight than the wild type. Since it is a nonsense mutation it results in a truncated uh, protein. So that is how you got the answer 3. The next one. During infection by single stranded viruses, RNA viruses, Host immune system distinguishes viral RNA from the host RNA based on. So it is based on specific signals at the 5' prime end of the RNAs. Then Helicobacter pylori survives the acidic environment of the stomach because to survive in the harsh acidic environment of the stomach, Helicobacter pylori secretes an enzyme called urease which converts the chemical urea to ammonia. The production of ammonia around Helicobacter pylori neutralizes the acidity of the stomach making it more hospitable for the bacterium. So it produces urease enzyme. Answer is option 3. Now next one. The deletion of gene X in mice did not result in, an abnormal, in any abnormality. Further, to investigate the function of the gene, at least 5 null mice of the same sex are needed. What is the minimum number of pups from the heterozygous parent to be screened to obtain the required number? So, capital X and small x, they are the heterozygous parents, they are screened and you get small x small x which is the null mice these are of the normal phenotype so a null mutation is a mutation in a gene that leads to it not being transcribed into mrna and or translated into functional protein product it is seen in the homozygous recessive condition so one fourth will be null mice so as per option a 10 mice so 10 into 1 by 4 that is 25 mice option b is 20 mice 20 into 1 by 4 5 mice the, these five mice can be either male or female so it is not the answer as in the question it is the number of mice of the same sex 
So 40 mice if you take 40 into 1 by 4 so 10 mice. So half of 10 will be males and half of 10 will be females. So the answer is option C that is 40. Then the carbon 1 of glucose is labeled with C14. Specific activity of 10 millicurie per millimole. After one round of glycolysis, the specific activity of radio labeled pyruvate is. So glycolysis produces 2 ATP, 2 NADH and 2 pyruvate molecules. Specific activity of glucose substrate is 10 MCI per m moles. Number of moles of pyruvate that is 2. Specific activity of the radio labeled pyruvate. Specific activity of substrate by number of moles of the product. So 10 by 2 that is 5. Answer is option 3. Then next one. During DNA replication, the newly generated strand remains attached to the template. However, during transcription, newly synthesized RNA dissociates from the template. This is achieved by RNA polymerase. Answer is option 2. Then next one. RAG1 null mice are susceptible to infection because the recombination activating genes encode parts of the protein complex that plays important role in the rearrangement and recombination of the genes encoding immunoglobulin and T cell receptor molecules. Now RAG1 mice are susceptible to infection because uh, RAG1 is involved in gene rearrangements in the T and B cells. Answer is option 3. Then next one. The restriction site for VAN91 is 5 prime C C A N N N N N T G G 3 prime. How many times can VAN91 cut a 4 MB bacterial genome with 50% G plus C content? Now when GC content is 50%, AT is also 50% and each base will be 25% or 1 by 4. So probability that C is at come at position 1 is 1 fourth, C will come at position 2 is 1 fourth, A will come at position 3 is 1 by 4. N can be any base. It can be an A, T, G or C. Which base comes in N's place doesn't matter for the restriction enzyme. So it doesn't matter for our calculations also. Now probability that T will come at 9th position is 1 by 4. C will come at 10th position is 1 by 4. G will come at 11th position is 1 by 4. Probability that uh, this sequence will be present at random in the DNA is 1 by 4 raised to 6 that is 1 by 4096. Restriction enzyme will cut the 4 MB genome once every 4096 base pair. How many times this restriction enzyme will cut 4 MBP? So that will be 1000 times. You divide it 4 MBP divided by 4096 that will be approximately 1000 times. Answer is 1. Then next one, phosphorylation of, phosphorylation of proteins is a typical post-translational modification which modulates their activities. Which of the following amino acid residues can be phosphorylated? It is aspartic acid. Answer is option 4. Then positive and negative selection markers are utilized to screen for recombinants from wild type population. Which of the following can be used in negative selection in bacteria? So negative selection is cells that have lost a specific gene, they will survive. So here is SAC B, counter selection relies on toxic product produced by SAC B gene. SAC B encodes the enzyme Levan sucrase that converts sucrose into toxic metabolite. Exchange of the SACB gene for the gene of interest and then plating on sucrose medium will select for cells that contain constructs that have lost the SACB uh, gene. <coughs> so SACB gene is used for negative selection in bacteria. Answer is option 3. Then next one. 
A mammalian cell culture is treated with cyclohexamide. Protein synthesis of cells after treatment was recorded through incorporation of labeled amino acids. In which of the following organelles will fresh protein synthesis be detected? So, cyclohexamide blocks protein synthesis blocking translation elongation. Whereas mitochondrial protein synthesis is resistant to inhibition by cyclohexamide. So, which, in which of the organelles fresh protein synthesis will be detected is, is in mitochondria. Answer is option 3. Then next one. A scientist aims to identify a binding site for a new transcriptional anti-terminator protein. Which one of the following techniques will be the most appropriate for this experiment? So, anti-terminators, they suppress the action of terminators and termination factors to increase the expression of downstream genes. So, factors that bind rho binding to RNA or translocation along the RNA will inhibit termination. So, the anti-terminator has to be one uh, that binds to RNA. So, RIP sequencing is the most appropriate technique. RIP is high throughput RNA sequencing method widely used to study protein RNA interaction to detect RNA interaction with the target protein. So, answer here will be option 3 that is RIP sequencing. Primer extension is a technique employed for mapping the so, primer extension is a technique whereby the 5 prime ends of the RNA can be mapped, that is, they can be sequenced and properly identified. Primer site can be used to determine the start site of transcription. The end site cannot be determined by this method. So, answer will be option 3, that is, transcription initiation site. UGA is not a stop codon in yeast mitochondria. Answer is option 4. Then next one. A recombinant plasmid is introduced with adenovirus to specifically label liver cells with GFP. Which gene promoter will be the most optimal for specific gene expression of GFP? Now cytochrome P450 enzymes are primarily found in liver cells. So, answer is option 3 that is cytochrome P450. So, a recombinant plasmid is introduced with adenovirus and specifically labeled to liver cells with GFP. Which gene promoter will be most optimal for specific expression of GFP will be cytochrome P450 promoter because they are primarily found in the liver cells. The next one. The schematic represent the basic structural components of atomic force microscope. Answer is option 3.